Hey, church family, it's James here, working our way through the Psalms, day 32, Psalm 32. Let's read it together. Psalm 32, a mascal of David. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. For when I kept silent, my bones wasted away, through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, my strength was dried up, as by the heat of summer. Selah. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Selah. Therefore let everyone who is godly offer prayer to you at a time when you may be found. Surely in the rush of great waters they shall not reach him. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with a bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. The psalm has always struck, with the, struck me for the way in which it teaches us that confession is good for our souls. Confession of sin is good for our souls. Don't you love these words? When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through groaning. Day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength was dried up as in this heat of summer. Do you remember when you were a, a kid and you'd done something wrong and you knew that you were about to get busted for it? And the fear you had of that impending trouble uh, was often worse than, than the trouble itself. When your parent found out or your teacher found out or someone found out what you had done, uh, there was almost a, a relief. Um, the silence was, was worse than the punishment. Well, of course, it's not just when we're kids that we do things that are, are wrong. The Bible tells us that uh, something similar happens when it comes to confession of, of sin. That when we have done wrong, when we have silent shame or, or, or hidden secrets, the best thing for our souls is to come and confess them. Not to keep them silent. That just ends up sapping our own strength, drying up our, our own energy as we feel that deep hidden shame. But to come and confess these things to God. Because what happens when we confess? Look, God forgives. When God forgives he takes takes away the shame of our sin, removes the guilt from from upon us, gives us that freedom of forgiveness in in Christ. And so that's what we want we want to do. We want to be people who don't try and deny or always hide the fact that there are things that are wrong with us, that we're broken, that there's things we've that we're ashamed of. But but as Christians, we're people who know what to do with with these realities. We bring them to our Lord. We confess them. And find in its place the freedom of forgiveness in Jesus. So practice this as you read the Psalms. Don't just read about what David did. Do it yourself. And therefore don't just read about the forgiveness David received. Receive it yourself. Psalm 32. You forgave the iniquity of my sin.